I'm Storm Truck 8 Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown. Winter weather on the way. Yes, we're talking about snow. Snow will move into the forecast for us on Saturday. I wanted to show you this first because this has been issued for us today. Uh, goes into effect on Friday night and lasts through Sunday morning. This is the winter weather advisory that's out for our area. So this winter weather advisory issued because of the snow that we'll see on Saturday. We'll get to that in just a second. First, let's talk about temperatures overnight falling down into the 20s. We're looking at a chilly night for you tonight. Chilly overnight down to the low 20s, but not as cold as last night. Partly cloudy skies and calm, but yes, will still factor in a wind chill that will make it feel much colder. So let's talk about that colder air that's in place in the overnight hours and into your day tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow will slowly warm to the mid 30s. I think we're at about 35 to 36. We are locked in with cloud cover tomorrow. We're looking at a cloudy day for you as those clouds just really thicken over the area and kind of just stay with us. Now, as we look at Saturday snow already skipping ahead to it, it's early Saturday morning. I think 1, 2 a.m. that we'll start to see this snow sneak in here. These snow showers move through the area. Light to moderate snow initially, but I think some heavier bands of snow will slide through the area for your Saturday. We're going to deal with this snow pretty steady throughout the day on Saturday. It's with us all day. I think it's after 7 p.m. These snow showers become a little more scattered. You'll get some breaks from the snow. How much snow? Well, I think by the time we get to about 11 o'clock on Saturday, we're already at about two inches of snow. Uh, by the time we get to around 6, 7 p.m., we're already at about three and a half inches of snow. I think most of us will easily see about four inches of snow, but I think there's an isolated area or two that could see uh, five and even six inches of snow from this system. So as the system moves through, isolated higher amounts, but most of us in the four inch range areas to the north, I think you're in about the two inch range. So as we talked about yesterday, most of us at about two to four inches. I do think at this point now we're talking about some areas to our south dealing with isolated five and even six inch totals here. Here's your Saturday, 8 a.m., 30 degrees. By the time we get to noon, 32. Now, this temperature is very important because if we make it to around 33, 34, we're going to mix in a little rain, which will cut down on those snowfall totals. But for right now, we know we're going to stay near that freezing mark throughout Saturday afternoon. As we get to Sunday, still leading some light snow, more in the way of a mix on Sunday, so not adding a lot to our snowfall totals then. The system begins to shift off to the south by Sunday evening, moving out of the area, leaving behind some cloud cover, cooler conditions, and still that snow on the ground. Your Chapman Heating and Cooling 8-day forecast here. Temperatures at 36 degrees for you for your Friday. A little colder on Saturday and Sunday with that chance of snow. This is our biggest winter weather event so far. Once we get to Monday, temperatures start to warm back up as we dry out. There's a slight chance of a bit of a wintry mix on Wednesday and then again on Friday.